Judy and I'm addicted to puzzles. Today I'm coming on here to say thank you so much for helping me get to 4,000 subscribers. Like, that's a huge landmark. I've been working on my channel since January of 2017. So to finally, all these years later, hit 4,000 subscribers, I'm super excited to hit such a, a big milestone. Um, so for my 4,000 subscriber uh, milestone, I did a 4,000 piece pin two puzzle. Uh, this is one is called 160 cats. And I'm, okay, so the pin two puzzles, I know if it's 1,200 pieces, it came in four bags, you know, four sections of 300. This 4,000 piece puzzle came in four sections of 1,000 and I mixed them all together. Um, when I saw this, I was like, well, that should be easy. It's a gradient puzzle. And I know that like the sections where the sections, um, you know, meet per bag. I know that I knew that those pieces would be uh, the same cut and the border pieces I knew were the same cut. But what I didn't know was that basically each little box the cat is in is also kind of a gradient in itself. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, it's 160 cats. Some of the cats are probably going to be hard because they're all cats. But I was thinking it would just be like a fluid gradient. Pink, you know, to blue. But each box also is gradient. So this puzzle turned out to be way more tough than I had ever anticipated. But it's so adorable. I mean, it is, it's the most adorable puzzle. I say that about a lot of puzzles, but this one is super adorable. So this is 4,000 pieces. I mean, look at the quality. It's just... Pin 2 puzzles are absolutely amazing. I just, um, this is my third one so far. And I, I don't have anything negative to say at all. Um, yeah, you can hang this in your bathroom. I mean, it's waterproof. Um, you know, you can hang it on the wall just like this, or you can get a frame. They do sell frames for their puzzles thinking about getting a frame for this because I'm definitely not taking it apart. This puzzle took me, oh, um, it definitely took me more than 40 hours of time to do this puzzle. And like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be like a gradient inside of a gradient. So, and the pieces are fairly small. So, this was a hundred times more challenging than what I had anticipated it to be. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, I highly recommend this puzzle or any of the other puzzles, but if you're going to do a big one like this, 4,000 pieces, um, I don't recommend mixing the bags together. Um, I thought each section was going to be um, uh, unique. And they're not, they're the, uh, the pieces do repeat throughout each quadrant, um, except for they might be turned. I think, I don't remember exactly. Uh, some of them, like if this one is straight, I can't remember if this one was straight and those two are turned, um, but that was the only difference. So like, I had some yellow pieces, you know, and diff I, yeah, there were some, not a lot of pieces, but I did have some pieces in um, the wrong spots, but I found them eventually. All in all, though, this puzzle was, um, it's adorable. It was fun. It was, um, it was just like, I don't want to say it was a lot of work. I mean, it's a puzzle. It took, it, it took a lot of time. There you go. It took a lot of time to do. And I wanted to mix the pieces because if I hit a 4,000 4, subscriber mark, I want to do a 4,000 piece puzzle. Um, and doing four 1,000 piece puzzles just isn't the same as doing a 4,000 piece puzzle. 
And I probably could have did a section on the Mickey puzzle, but no, I wanted to do an actual 4,000 piece puzzle. So I did time lapse this puzzle. Um, I'll probably have it sped up super duper fast because I'm not going to be able to put 40 hours worth of time lapse in one video because that would be insane. Um, so I think I have it down to oh, maybe 20 minutes, but I'll probably even make it go a little bit faster than the 20 minutes because that's kind of a really long time lapse. Um, this puzzle's super cute though. Like you have a little bubble gum blowing kitty and you have a ninja kitty. I'm, I haven't put this on Instagram yet, but I'm going to take as many pictures as, as I can of all the different kitties. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, follow me there and then you'll be able to see all the close-ups of all the little super cute kitties. Um, but I mean, it's absolutely amazing. It really is. Yes, I highly recommend this puzzle for sure, but I don't recommend mixing it. Um, unless you want, like, I mean, you can mix it all day long if you want to. Just know that mixing it made it, um, if you want a really good challenge, mixing it makes it a really good challenge. <laughs> um, but in the end, you have one of the cutest puzzles I've ever seen. And this puzzle is heavy. I don't know how much it weighs, but it it's, it's pretty heavy. Because, I mean, it's all plastic. And it's, <laughs> it is so cute. Um, so I just want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and I want to thank Pin2 for sending me these puzzles so that I could, you know, celebrate my 4,000 subscriber mark with a fantastic 4,000 piece puzzle. Um, I'm truly appreciative of Pin2 for helping me out. Okay, so I'm going to move this. gonna set it right over here see it's so awesome it stands up all on its own okay so earlier this year I did a couple of other pin two puzzles and this one was called morning song and I did this one in the sections um, I think it a for it being 1,200 pieces, I think it would have been really challenging if I mixed it. So I did not mix this one. And I did this one called Sheba's Candy Store. And it's got all the little doggies uh, at the candy store. It's adorable. So what I'm going to do with uh, this one is I'm actually going to frame it with one of deep into frames so basically it just comes in it's just a plastic it's a plastic frame so you just slide the pieces together voila I mean <laughs> if everything was this easy it'd be incredible right so then you slide the puzzle into the frame and look at that you have a beautifully framed puzzle. I think it's pretty genius. And it's in there. Very nice. Super awesome. I'm probably going to get one for the 4,000 piece. Um, I really like the way this looks. It just looks, um, looks pretty. So, if you haven't tried a pin two puzzle yet, I highly recommend. Whether it's just a 300 piece or a thousand piece, um, this one in the morning song was 1200 pieces. Or, if you want to get, if you want a super challenge, you can get the 4,000 piece. It's so pretty. 
Um, so, like I said, um, if you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook or, you know, whichever one, I will have um, pictures of this one up. So you can see all the, the close-ups of the cats. I mean, they're super, they're just super adorable. Um, I also will be doing more shorts. I think I've only posted one so far. And that was with the little bubble gum kitty and then the one next to it's all scared. Um, <laughs> that might be my favorite. Um, so be on the lookout for shorts. Um, I do, I post them on TikTok also. But I will have a lot of pictures on Instagram. Definitely give Pintu a try. They're on Amazon. I will put a link to this puzzle in the description of this video. And um, the other two also, I'll go ahead and throw the links in there also. That way uh, you can, you know, and then you can search their store and see what else they have. They have a lot of designs. So, and I know they have Disney puzzles, but I guess they're not really available readily in the United States. Which is kind of a bummer because um, I'm going to do a lot of Disney puzzles this year for the 100th year anniversary. So it would be amazing to be able to do some pin two puzzles that are Disney. Um, but maybe, you know, I'm hoping they come to the United States eventually. But I know that licensing, when you go to different countries, it um, it gets expensive. So, um, so definitely... Give them to a try. And I just want to thank you again. Thank you so much for helping me get to 4,000 subscribers. Um, I think right now I'm a little over 4,100. Uh, when I hit 5,000, which I know is uh, a little ways away, I'm going to do a 5,000 piece Disney puzzle. And it's, um, I don't know the name of it, but it's the one with, I think it's called Painter's Mickey. It's the one when Mickey has um, all the, he's like painting all his friends in their frames. It's super cute. Um, I think Vicky for make, Vicky Makes and Builds is actually working on that one right now. Um, so that's going to be my 5,000 subscriber puzzle. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Eventually, I mean, it does take quite a bit of time to get you know, a thousand subscribers. So, um, but it'll be, hopefully it'll be before October cause I'm going to do it before October. Um, so that's all I have today. It was just kind of a, a quick video, but I'm going to have the time lapse, um, after this. And then, um, I hope you enjoyed my intro with the 4,000. That was all these pieces, uh, before I started this puzzle. I don't know how many days I worked on this. Some days I only worked on it for a couple hours. Some days it was, you know, five, six hours, uh, which was kind of backbreaking because, you know, the pieces are kind of small. So you have to like really lean over so you can see all the pieces. Super great puzzle though. I, again, I recommend, but I do not recommend mixing the pieces. So just, if you want a super challenge, mix the pieces. But I think this would have been much easier and faster, probably 30 hours. Well, I, I know I spent well over 40 hours on this. I had 35 hours of video. I ran out of room on my computer because I had so many gigabytes of video. <laughs> um, so at the end, I started just figuring out where the pieces went. Um, and I'd put the piece next to the cat and then I turned my video on and put the pieces in. So that's kind of how I had to play it at the end because I just complete, I had 21 gigabytes of room left on my computer. And when I finally deleted all the time-lapse videos, I was back up to 293 gigabytes. So that's how much video I had on my computer just for this puzzle. And it was 35 hours of video time. But like I said, the last few days, um, there was a lot of hours, but there was only a half hour of video because I just, you know, put the pieces in on video instead of recording myself trying to find where they went. Um, so here, let me show you once again.
amazing puzzle, amazing company. Uh, thank you again, Pin2, for uh, sending me this puzzle. And um, thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. And um, I will have a couple more videos coming out fairly quick after this one. It's been a hot minute since I put a video out because I was working on this puzzle. Um, but I'm pretty much catching up. So, all right. So thank you all again and have a wonderful day. Happy puzzling to you. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.